So here I am at the Leicester Drone Club with James from DroneCage.co.uk. What we're going to do, we're going to take off with a Mavic 2 Pro in a cage and we're going to fly it around this light up here as though we're doing an inspection and we're actually going to bump the drone against the, uh, what do you call it James, the pole? Yeah. Yeah, against the pole, yeah. just to demonstrate it. Here we go then. That is lovely. Look at that. Look how stable that is. Beautiful. Imagine now the drone is going, inspecting the light, taking photographs, videoing, and if it gets too close to that, you'll see it in action. All right. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. There you go, that would have cost you two grand if you hadn't had the safety cage on. Wow. That is incredible. Jeez. We're sort of at, at ground level or just, you know, sort of head height now. And there's the post. Wow, that is brilliant. Wow, it's proper knocking against the, the post and it's completely protected. If you're doing survey work, yeah, that is going to happen sometimes. You're going to have to get close to structures. And this sort of kit is going to be worth its weight in gold for you. All versions fits the new drone cage. Mm -hmm. So it is just a case of simply unfold your arms, not necessarily unfold the propellers. Uh, oh, first of all, just drop the one lower arm off around the corner. Do you want to start again? I've, I've no, let's carry on. Sure? This, this is the stuff people need to see because they'll make the same mistakes. You see? Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so uh, once you've found where the Velcro straps are. Because you've got this cage, haven't you, Nigel? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, so now then, it's, you can leave one of the arms attached on the bottom of the drone cage itself. That's interesting to know. Work it through the cage. You'll hear two firm positive clips just like that. Yeah. Bringing your leg back up, popping your nylon bolt through. Gently wind it up. It's only got to be a gentle little nip like that. Placing the drone cage upside down. And then just put your Velcro strap on underneath. This yeah. Velcro strap doesn't need to be tight. It's a seat belt in case of a crash. It's not designed to hold yeah. it in. The bracket itself does that for you. Uh, finally, while we go upside, upside down still, the front legs here just simply attach like so. Mm -hmm. It's a deliberately meant to be an interference fit, so it's nice and firm like that. With your pre-included Velcro straps, just simply wrap it around the leg itself. And again, same as the main body, just firmly pop it around there just to sort of keep it in place in case of an impact. Okay. Okay. Have you been doing that, Nigel, on yours? Uh, well, Did you follow the instructions? Well, yes. Uh, they, they, they've informed me that the instructions have now been updated, so that's really good. Um, and I think the product's very, very good. I've used it on a couple of occasions, yeah. uh, and the product has worked as described. Okay, good. Uh, good. It's that really good feeling that now your drone's safe. 
Yeah. So when you're going to the, both for the customer and everything else, it's going to be shown in about a month's time. Uh, I'm doing it in Britvic, so Britvic. Oh yeah, inside. I'll be using it within their factory space, so that's quite good. Okay. I'll feed it back, no problem. Yeah, oh. good. That's really good. Excellent. So that's ready to go, is it then? Yeah, one James? final last tip is just simply yeah. unfold your um, uh, your propellers as you yeah. would do normally anyway. Okay. Uh, once yeah. you've done that, turn it on, wait for a sat signal, and then you're good to go. And that is it. You've it just is. done a complete fitting. A couple of minutes. Yeah. The, the more you do it, you know, the quicker it will it'll, it'll happen. Okay. Should we give it a fly? Uh, yes, by all means. Brilliant. Okay. At the top of the frame, touch whatever subject you are filming. So, for example, if you were under like a low tunnel, yeah. you could place the drone cage directly underneath and actually touch the, right, okay. the, the underneath the tunnel itself. If you remove that part, I didn't know removed. Yeah. <laughs> If you remove that, it exposes the upward facing sensor, yeah. so now that will act as DJI designed it to. Uh, yeah, I've got stop you. Just short oh, of the ceiling. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. That is nice. That's a great bit of kit. Oh. oh. That was interesting. It'd be good now to see the condition of the cage. Yeah, yeah, so it's had a proper, proper hard landing then. Is it, that's because you went over Max the... Max angle. Max angle, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Let's see if she'll start up without touching it. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. Happy with that? That is brilliant. Two drone cages now, I'm gonna bump into each other. Oh geez. Oh my god. The ultimate test. <laughs> 